What's going on, everyone? This is Dr. Gano here on Madden 20 once again, as today we have another franchise-related video, but today we're going to be doing a fantasy draft rebuild. I love fantasy drafts. I love drafting in general. So before we start, I figured I just mentioned that I've just been uploading a lot of Madden just because A, I'm enjoying it, and B, it's the hot topic right now. Tomorrow, I won't only upload Madden. Chicago Tech will be coming up tomorrow. It'll start to get normal within the next couple days. I just want to upload a lot of Madden content. So, let's get right on into it. The team it landed on is the Bengals. So, we will be drafting with the Cincinnati Bengals. As we end up with the, drum roll please, 24th pick. Not great. Could have been worse. We could have been at the bottom. But, looking at the draft board, there are still some really good players available. I'm not going to be drafting only rookies. I'm trying to win this within a couple years. So we're going to go with a little bit of older players per se, starting with J.J. Watt. We see what talented, game-changing edge rushers can do to teams. Look at the Bears and Khalil Mack. As you can see, Darius Slade going back to my Lions. I like to see that. So now on round two, we need a quarterback, and we're going to go with Russell Wilson. Yeah, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Philip Rivers were all there, but they're old men. So we're going to go with Wilson. Usually, Brady and Brees retire after year one anyway. On to the third round, cornerbacks go off the board really quickly, so we need to get one as soon as possible. And we're going with William Jackson, so he will stay with the Bengals. Round four, I want to build up an offensive line. We're going with Chiefs tackle Mitchell Schwartz, rocking that superstar development, 91 overall. On to round five, I want to have a good linebacking core. We're going with Roquan Smith. I'm still drafting young players because I want these guys to progress, but at the same time, I'm not only drafting rookies, as you can see. Round six, Golden Tate. I need a superstar receiver, and he's not really a superstar, but he's the best we can go with. And we get to reunite him with Russell Wilson, even though he said Matthew Stafford is better. Next round, we're going with Tyran, the Honey Badger, Matthew. Uh, I believe round eight, Ryan Shazier. Going with two middle linebackers, because when you move a middle linebacker to outside, their rating usually goes up by like two or three. Next up, we're getting Jerron Reed, the defensive tackle from the Seattle Seahawks. On to round 10, I believe. Want to continue to build the offensive line? Going with Quentin Nelson, the guard from the Colts. I got him all the time in Madden 19. We need another receiver. All of the receivers available are old, so we're going with DK Metcalf, a guy who, of course, you guys know I love this dude so much. And another guy I love is cornerback Greedy Williams. Once again, all the cornerbacks left are old, so we're going to go with Greedy. So now our running back. You guys thought I was probably waiting for carry-on, but... We're not going to do that. We're picking up Devontae Freeman from the Atlanta Falcons. We need a tight end. We're going to go for Harvard man, Cameron Brait. So welcome aboard, buddy. We need a couple more defensive linemen. So we're going to go with DJ Reader of the Houston Texans. More of a prototypical defensive tackle, 3-4 end, even though we are 4-3. So the fit may be awkward at first. Uh, Want to continue the offensive line. Cody Whitehair from the Bears. He will join the squad. We're going to add a nickel cornerback, Justin Coleman, from my Lions. I have not been very biased. I think this is the first Lion we've picked, not counting Golden Tate. Want to continue to build the offensive line. I've got Austin Blythe from the LA Rams. Welcome aboard, buddy. We're going to go with another Lion. One of my favorite players on the team, Jared Davis. Going to move him to outside. Hopefully he gets a little bit better. Safety, there aren't... <laughs> many good safeties on the board, so we're going to rock with Tedrick Thompson of the Seattle Seahawks. Not too many more picks left. We're going to go with Henry Anderson of the Jets, I believe. He's on the Jets now, so welcome aboard, kiddo. Need another receiver. We're picking J.J. Arcego right side for rookie from the Philadelphia Eagles. I want a change of pace back behind Devontae, so we're going with Deion Lewis of the... He's on the Titans now, that's right. So now we're just going to start simulating. Jimmy Graham is on the Lions now. So we're going to start simulating. Hope that the CPU does a good job. So here's a look at the squad. The game drafted Larry Fitt, which is cool. He was the number one receiver for most of the draft, but I knew he was going to retire after year one. We have a scrub on the offensive line, Cordy Glenn. I thought I drafted five, but I guess not. And then the defense is pretty solid. There are a few holes. But for the most part, I do like this team a lot. So we're only making one trade here in year one. I wanted to trade players, so I didn't draft. Larry Fitz, Justin Jackson, and Cody Latimer will get as a first-round pick from the Houston Texans. So here is an official look at the team after making position changes and stuff. I don't think this team is a contender, but I do think we have a good team. Probably playoff-worthy. We made the changes to the linebackers, added 
Henry Anderson to D-tackle. And we end up winning nine games, which is good enough to win the division. So that's pretty cool. Taking on the Jaguars in round one. Russell Wilson looks like he had a nice year. A little bit high on the interceptions, but for the most part, he played well. Running the ball, Devontae Freeman. Nothing crazy, but he had a good year. Golden Tate beasted. 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns. Over 940 for DK Metcalf. Quinn Nelson did not allow a single sack. That's because he didn't start because I forgot to change some positions. So I did an oopsies there. Roquan led in tackles. Tackles for a loss went to Shazier and J.J. Watt. Watt finished with 10 sacks. Ryan Shazier with 8. And then interceptions, 3 for William Jackson, 2 for the Honey Badger, and Tedrick Thompson. So look at all these skill points. What beauties. We're going to auto them. I don't have time to give everyone their individual skill points. So here's a look of a squad after giving one everyone their XP. Still only an 81, moving Quentin Nelson to the top of the jet chart. That should have been done earlier. Defense looking nice as well. So let's get right on into the playoff games, starting with Jacksonville. We're going to simulate this one, hoping for a dub, and that's what we get. Now going to be taking on the 11-5 Tennessee Titans. Let's keep the momentum train rolling, and unfortunately we lose by a score of 17 to 10. And sure enough, the Titans win the Super Bowl. So here's a look at their roster. Pretty good squad. And as you can see, they have a bunch of Lions. Hawkinson, Decker, Sean, Glover Quinn, former Lion, Tavon Wilson. So I see why they did so well. Jelani Taivai there as well. So I get it. So here's a look at free agency. It's not very good, but we need to go after these guys. So we ended up spending big. Jarek McKinnon, Naheem Hines, Will Lutz, Trey Waynes, Tyrone Crawford, Bo Wilkerson, Jimmy Smith, Terrell Edmonds, uh, Rashawn Melvin, Chris Thompson, Anthony Sherman, and Mike Gusecki, and sure enough, they all accept after day one. I overpaid for everyone, so now it's time to make some big moves. First things first, Justin Coleman straight up for Odell. It's so hard to trade for players in fantasy drafts, like right after, but I guess after season one, very easy. Now I'm going to be getting David DeCastro from the Giants for a first-round pick, Brennan Copeland and Chris Thompson. I meant to trade a second. I think that would have worked, but oh well, we got him nonetheless. Jared Davis and Rashawn Melvin, a pair of Lions, along with a future third, will get us another Lion in Snacks Harrison. Morgan Fox, Jarek McKinnon, and a four will get us Vaughn Miller from the Minnesota Vikings. Usually he's impossible, but once again, I guess players are easy after year one. I don't know why. Uh, we need help in the secondary, so Trey Waynes, a one and a three, will get us Adrian Amos. I know that's not a total steal like some of these other trades, but it's sort of hard to get defensive backs. Also going to be adding Malcolm Jenkins for Tyrone Crawford and six-round picks. So now we have three strong safeties, but don't worry, I have a plan. Henry Anderson straight up for Delaney Walker. This one makes sense for the Browns because Walker's an old man, and we do need a new tight end. Jerron Reed in a fifth will get his Mike Daniels from the Jaguars. Daniels just signed with the Lions today in real life, which I'm very excited about. Our defensive line is stacked. We have three Pro Bowl caliber players in Deshaun Hand, so that's pretty cool. Now trading away three backups for a fourth. I just needed to clear cap space. I don't really know why I showed it. And I wanted to clear cap space so we could get Elaine Johnson trading a second along with Tedrick Thompson and Austin Blythe. So now a 92 overall, 95 offense, 97 defense. This team is stacked. If we don't win a Super Bowl, I don't know what can. This team is absolutely fire. There's the offense. Defense might be even better we got quite the squad on our hands, and I think this team is definitely Super Bowl caliber, especially in a fantasy draft where all the rosters are balanced and there's no really good team, I guess, except for us. So unsurprisingly, we finish with a first round by going 12-4, and four. and considering how balanced all these rosters are, that's sort of like going 14-2 and two in a regular franchise, so that's really nice. Russell Wilson had an MVP-like season. Zach Clemens also with a touchdown. Devontae Freeman, very similar year to last year. Nothing crazy, but he played well. AB dominated, 15 scores. Everyone else did their thing. Blocking-wise, it looks like, uh, what's his face? Quentin Nelson actually started, only allowing three sacks. O-line did really well. Roquan and Shazier, each with 102 tackles, leading the team. 20 tackles for loss with, for J.J. Watt, who finished with 9.5 sacks. Interceptions, only two was the team high for Malcolm Jenkins, William Jackson, and Tyron Matthew, who you may notice I moved to corner, and Adrian Amos is at three safety. So not as many skill points because we don't have as many rookies. The backup quarterback, Clemens, had like six, though, so I guess that's something. So here's a look at the squad headed in the postseason. 91 overall. I believe we have a 91 offense and then 99 defense. 
which makes sense. This defense is absolutely insane. J.J. Watt and Von Miller are going after the same quarterback. Dear goodness. So we're going to be taking on the Indianapolis Colts. They eliminated us twice in the Raiders rebuild yesterday, so we want to beat them. And that's what we do now, taking on the 8-7-1 Los Angeles Chargers. Hopefully we can end up getting the dub here. And we will simulate and drum roll, please. We will end up getting the win. So we're going to take on the 10-6 Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. Yes, this is post-com. PlayStation audio is terrible. That's why I know their record. I know if we win the Super Bowl or not as well. So there are the skill points. Now time to look at the Atlanta Falcons roster. See who they have. See what they are working with. So any second now, we'll get there. And here is a look at their team. And they have quite the squad. Miles Garrett, Trent Williams. They have a talented team. Mariota at quarterback. Go Ducks. So I'd say this is a, one of the better teams you'll see in a fantasy draft. But obviously, we're better. We should get this win. And will we end up getting the win? The answer is yes. 35-21 to 21 is the score. We won our first Super Bowl on Madden 20. Here's a final look at the team. The ratings aren't perfect because we have a bunch of old guys. So lots of regression happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know more potential franchise experiments you'd like to see. I have a couple solid ideas that uh, some of the subs gave on Discord. So that's it for me. Have a good one. Hey, hey, man.